Welcome, Vintage Gamers, to a very, very special Wednesday Night Vintage League. This will be the 250th Vintage League that I upload on my YouTube channel. Uh, I felt like that was a big number, so we should celebrate it. And what better way to celebrate 250 Vintage Leagues than with a deck that has 250 cards? We're going to play some Battle of Wits today. Uh, Battle of Wits, iconic enchantment at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have 200 or more cards in your library, you win the game. Twitch chat during the last uh, challenge weekend was very helpful and helped me build a beautiful 250 card Yorion Bant control combo deck. Uh, the goal here, is, and this is going to seem weird to some people because people are going to be like, oh, you want to play black and you want to be able to tutor for Battle of Wits. But what, I, what we wanted to build was a somewhat functioning bant deck that also had battle of wits so the nice part about being a very clean bant mana base is we don't have to worry as much about getting color screwed um like we could theoretically splash like you know four or five black tutors but uh i don't really think the like you know the small additional tutor is going to be effective whereas i think it could ruin the mana base um so this mana base was a lot easier to build by keeping it to three colors we also have plenty of mana fixing we're a Yorion deck, so we're looking for, you know, enter the battlefield triggers like Astrolabe and Abundant Growth. We're a Green Sun Zenith deck, so we kind of have like a, a green creature package where, you know, play a million of these green and blue creatures that pitch both the Force of Will and Force of Vigor and get uh, value off of Yorion. And we actually did manage to put in a very large number of tutors. We have four Intuition, four Enlightened Tutor, four Idyllic Tutor. Four Gifts Ungiven, which is, you know, somewhat of a tutor. Uh, if you just said Idyllic Tutor, um, Intuition, and Gifts Ungiven, or sorry, and, and Enlightened Tutor, that's actually 12 out of 200, let's say, let's say 240 cards. Let's just say 240 cards. It's easier for the math. 12 out of 240 cards is actually a higher percentage of your deck than if you were to, say, play one Vamp, one Demonic, and a 60-card Vintage deck. You actually have a higher, we actually have a higher tutor percentage than a normal Vintage deck, which is kind of cool. Um, what I will say is I don't expect to win very much. <laughs> Yorion 80 card decks are already pretty hard and vintage to pull off. Uh, Yorion 250 card decks, uh, that's a lot of variance. And I'm not, you know, convinced I built this perfectly either. There could be some serious deck building problems here either too. Um, we're, our goal tonight, we'd like to win a game with Battle of Wits. I think that's a goal. And I would like to win a match. That's a reasonable goal as well. <laughs> so that's our plan. We're going to play Bant, Battle of Wits, Yorion for our 250th Vintage League on this channel. Uh, I hope everyone has enjoyed the last four, three or four years of vintage content. And hopefully we'll get to produce a lot more uh, in the coming years as well. So let's just... Uh, Get right. oh, 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 one more thing to point out. Uh, today, Magic Online updated with the Brothers War cards. They're not legal yet, but um, that update went into effect. Uh, in doing so, they have broken major parts of all four constructed metagames. <laughs> or maybe not all four. Four out of five constructed metagames. They have broken uh, escape cards. Escape, <laughs> right now on Magic Online, costs... Uh, the escape cost and the converted mana cost. So, uh, Underworld Breach is broken. Uro is broken. All, all the Uro generation titans are broken, which is uh, causing lots of problems in Pioneer Modern uh, Legacy and Vintage. So, hopefully none of our opponents tonight are on Underworld Breach. I would hate to, you know, have their card be broken and not be able to win. We have fortunately had four Uros in our deck, but I had to cut down to just one Uro because I don't want to have to play with a card that is broken. This is the, the cost of doing business sometimes when you play Magic Online right after patch day. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Welcome to round one, Vintage League 250. Oh, it looks like the MTG bot is broken because it's a... Man, that's unfortunate. We are in... 
Round one, game one of our Battle of Wits extravaganza. We have Absorbent 3, our favorite opponent across the table. Let's see if we can't get a Battle of Wits win. I will reveal I have a Yorion. Uh, wow, that hand looks really, really good. This hit, this hand looks quite good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. This is a nice hand. We've got a tutor for Battle of Wits, and we have five. We have mana. This, this is a this. No, we are not gonna win game one, round one, game one. There's no way. So are we supposed to green sun for... I think we should just fetch a forest and uh, play a Noble Hierarch. I'm going to fetch a forest off of Wooded Foothills so I can fetch an island off of Vista. And then we have uh, access to our green sun zenith. What is in our green sun zenith? I don't really know. Maybe an Ice Fang Coatl? That could be pretty good. Uh, Alright, I would like a forest. And a Noble Hierarch. Okay, so our opponent is Absorbent 3, who typically plays uh, Heat Bear slash Stompy slash uh, Fair Creature decks. Typically anti-combo creature... Uh-oh. Oh, don't ruin it for me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna restart in between every round so that our computer doesn't just, just break in half and Magic Online doesn't break in half. I'm gonna, I will try not to resize too much. Okay, Cavern, I don't have a force anyways, we're good. Alright, Lurgoyf, a classic, an absolute absorb. <laughs> okay, a Tarmogoyf. We don't have a Tarmogoyf in our green sense of the pile. There is a Tarmogoyf in our sideboard, <laughs> for what it's worth. However, we should be able to green sun zenith for like um, the, the the ice fang coatl, which should be quite good against uh, Tarmogoyf. Avoid mirror. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. We're okay with that. And Tarmogoyf, I assume. Cool. All right. Sweet. I think we're playing magic. I think I think we're off to a good start. You think everything is everything is okay? A bajuka bog. Well, that can you know make the goif smaller later. All right, I'm thinking I would like to green sun for a quaddle. I, th I think that's the plan. I am worried. I guess I'm not worried about getting vigored if they have a Void Mirror in play. Okay, so we have a Coiling Oracle, an Ice Fang Kawaddle, a Collector Oof, a Destiny Spinner, an Arbor Reclaimer, Fiend Artisan, Hex Drinker, Noble Hierarch, Outland Liberator, and Scavenging Ooze. How many are, uh, snow things do I need? Oh, I need three snow things. I guess next turn I can loam and get a third snow thing. I mean, I could get an... I think it's just correct to get a, a, a Coatl. All right, draw. Okay. Not a great card here. But I have a Preordain. Right, well, so look, actually, next turn... Hmm, so we can't Intuition, though. That's the problem, right? I guess we can see if we hit a land drop or not. And this isn't a rush. We're, no, we're in no rush to trade. Uh, human. Oh no, is it an Outland Liberator? That's... Oh no, that's really bad for our, <laughs> our Battle of Wits plan. Alright, we might have to just play fair Yorion magic here. Oh, no attack. I don't think they read out Ice Fang Coatl all the way through. Okay. Uh, fetch land? Oh, another, oh, another Ice Fang Coatl. That is kind of a nice draw, huh? 
we can surprise him. All right, so I'm going to go preordain. Loam means we're going to hit our everything for... Oh. Do we need any of this? I kind of want to keep the Field of Ruin with my opponent. You know, I know they have a Saga. I think I want to keep the Field of Ruin. Also gives us a Loam thing, so... Uh, am I gonna hold? I think if I play Field of Ruin, I get to hold open Intuition, Hole Breacher, and Ice Fang Coatl, and Field of Ruin, so I think I like that the most. Like, if my opponent swings out here, then I can play a second Coatl and just wipe their board. Right, these count each other. Death, uh, as long as you control three other snow permanents. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, I think we're playing Legacy right now. I think we're doing the, the Legacy game plan. Okay, Tarmogoyf came in. Oh, they both came in. Alright, let's 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 uh let's surprise Coatl and then uh, we are actually can look at our for a battle of Wits kill. Yeah, everything is running very slowly. <laughs> uh oh my. Alright. I now have uh, Wipe Your Board. Wow, that is just disgusting amounts of value. That is just something else. Okay, all right, what else you got for us? An Allosaurus Shepherd. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, that means that they can actually force a Vigor through Void Mirror. Ooh. Um, what do I want to do? I have a lot of choices. I think the answer might be, well, force is turned off, so I just have so many choices here. What is the best play? I think I like loam into intuition, maybe. I think it's fine to like go for our battle of let's kill, doesn't it? feel like it's fine. I mean, Ancestral might be reasonable as well. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do... Loam. Well, I just don't know what we're drawing to besides Battle of Wits, right? So maybe we just want to have intuition. I think we don't need to... I, I think it's fine to intuition and just go for the the, the Battle of Wits. Like, it might, it might get vigored, right? But I don't think that's a huge deal. Like we're going to be able to grind them out either way, and I and I want uh, one of our goals here is to win with a battle of wits kill. So why not try? Well, we have a nice opportunity to. Uh, squeeze your daddy. Oh, I guess my loam is gone, at some point. They have two cards in hand. They'll have to have exactly Outland Liberator or Green Card Vigor. Choose an opponent. Okay, so choose an opponent. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, Battle. Battle. Magic Online, please. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe it doesn't work. Am I not allowed to play Intuition and Gifts Ungiven? That would be very bad for our chances here. It does work. It just takes a second. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. It, it, it selected one.
Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You're you're here for the long haul, right? So it's not really my machine that's getting wrecked here. It's the server, huh? That is problematic. Oh, oh no. Oh, two? Three? We're gonna have to make sure our, we have a lot of time buffered. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is fine. If it's doable, then we're okay. And it seems like it's doable. I'm going to dredge back loam. Nah, I don't care. All right, so they have to have a way to beat this Battle of Wits. Let's see what they've got for us. Come on, baby. No Liberator. No Liberator. No Liberator. Let's go! We've got a battle of wits winning game one of the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh my, that, okay, all right. So I'm gonna bring in Tarmogoyf and um, take out Chalice of the Void and then resubmit. <laughs> we, got a, we got a battle of wits win. Uh, all right. I have a bird serpent. Okay. I accept. Look at our beautiful variety of fetch lands here. My, my, I have a lot. Of, I have way too much. Uh, way too much memory actually. So we'll be fine in that. In that case, I'm worried more about the servers. Okay. I'm. This hand is great against absorbent three. We've got a swords. We're just a legacy control deck. It's fine. Everything is fine. <sighs> okay, basic forest. Yep. Yeah, uh-huh. And Alistor Shepherd, all right. So we don't have to pitch our force of will or anything. Like we don't have to get off force of will because we can always swords in response to something we need to counter. Uh a timeless dragon is totally fine here. Plane cycling. 5-5, five, five, I like it. Uh, yeah, we'll just play a Flooded Strand and pass. Man, we really are playing Legacy, huh? No one let me start round two without restarting my Magic Online. Okay, Outland Liberator. I don't, I don't think that's an issue. <laughs> okay gosh uh i'm willing to fetch an island and probe and then we can see what we want to do between there uh is this an island okay Uh, 
All right, so my opponent has a Nature's Claim. That's a good counter to uh, Battle of Wits, I agree. A Simeon Spirit Guide and a Mind Break Trap. Well, I'm not particularly worried about these magic cards. Uh, we just simply can beat them with powerful Bant nonsense. Uh, I will probably just, like, Swords this Liberator so it doesn't flip and become annoying. Also, none of these cards beat a Timeless Dragon. That is also a true statement. Do any cards realistically beat Timeless Dragon? Uh, Snow-Covered Plains. Should we... Should we, uh... Should we force Simeon Spirit Guide because it's a non-green spell? Oh, I probably should have gotten all all blue spells. Or sorry, all islands from our gush, huh? Oh, should we pitch our Timeless Dragon to Jace? Value. Ooh, Spara's Headquarters. Okay. It's probably the first time I've ever cast a Spara's Headquarters. Is there... I don't think there's an old border GVP. Could be wrong. Okay, sure. Sure, Milker, sure. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Absolutely. All right, so we get to flip our Jace, put a Timeless Dragon in play. Oh my lord. We are we are cooking tonight. Everyone who bet yes <laughs> just immediately wins. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, transform on the fifth card. Let's just make sure this doesn't screw up. You win it. <laughs> <laughs> you believed. <laughs> did I put the poll up when we got in absorbent three as our opponent? Did you was the poll up? I will pitch my timeless dragon to my Jace, and I will plus on the Simeon Spirit Guide. And then oh my, my my magic online is just not happy. All right, I will eternalize my timeless dragon. How do you beat that opponent? How do you beat this? This might be impossible to beat. This card is so broken. Look at it. It's black. Broken. Can't be pyroblasted. Not that a white one could be pyroblasted either, I guess. I should say it doesn't get destroyed by Pyroblast. It could be Pyroblasted. I don't know. Opponent's probably close to quitting right here. This is a 4 4. Uh, we can re buy Swords to Plowshare if we want, but I don't feel like we need to do such a thing. You can also, like, loop gushes with Mystic Sanctuary. Um, I don't think any of that is what I want to do. I think we just play a Scavenging Ooze. Yeah, Ulti Jace seems reasonable. I don't... I could technically attack seven times. Uh, but I feel like we can just Ulti Jace and then be okay. Oh, maybe I should just actually get a Yorion here. A Yorion doesn't really do anything. Lightning Bolt on my Scavenging Ooze. Yeah, whatever, sure. A 
I guess we'll just get a Yorion. We'll have a fleet of flying, uh, well, they're not birds. This one's a dragon zombie. The other one's a bird serpent. Uh, I guess we can get a blue green land. I guess we can't get a blue green land as this is an arid mesa. Uh, I want a blue land. I guess I don't care about a blue land technically. Yeah, I'll just get a tundra, whatever. Uh, do, 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 boom. Yeah, like, te te theoretically, I could just not put the Yorion in my hand because I could dress down and counter a green spell with my forces, but what green spell do I need to counter? I guess Tarmogoyf, but we can always dress down a Tarmogoyf, too. Yeah, we could have we could have forced the, the Lightning Bolt, but at the same time, why? Oh, this is a bold attack. I will take off your Allosaurus Shepherd. You can just keep those rubies all tied up. I think we've con con <laughs> concocted the perfect deck, clearly. Uh, I don't know. Let's let. Oh, I can't fetch a Mystic Sanctuary with my Wooded Foothills, can I? Um, I don't really want to play Yorion, though. We can just hard cast Kutch. Are we playing with our food? Should we just attack and play a Yorion? Yeah, we should just attack and play a Yorion. We can go get a Spara's headquarters. We're not going to deck our opponent. We're going to just play the dumb flyers and we'll kill them. <laughs> we already got our Battle of Wits win. Let's, let's play... Solid magic and get our match win. Uh, don't I want to uptick on the collector? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's factually true. <laughs> yeah, you make a strong point. To be fair, we do have 12 forces in our seven, in our, not 75, in our 250. Oh, no, no shot. No chance. Let me go get another Spara's headquarters. Maybe. We'll see if Magic Online lets me. Yeah, I definitely should be plussing on the some, the oof. I don't know why I didn't. How many turns do we need? We only need a couple turns. Endurance. Interesting. Let's just gush. Why did I gush with the... I guess I don't want to pick up the... Ooh, what does that do? What does that do? We can bring back many things. Let's bring back Scavenging Ooze. <laughs> uh, and I will plus on the, the Collector Roof and I will swing for eight in the air. And I can hold up Endurance and double Scavenging Ooze activation and Force Fluster. Oh man, our deck is functioning. You know, even if we don't function for the rest of the night, we functioned right here, right now, in round one. <laughs> Having a good time. I'm I'm happy. This is this is this is something I will take. We we do, we do have eleven minutes on our clock, just because every action takes far longer than normal. I'm a little concerned going forward that we won't have enough time to complete the game actions that we need. Especially if we have to resolve multiple gifts ungiven or intuitions in a, in a, in a match. That could be problematic. 
The gifts ungiven might be very, very hard for us. <laughs> I, I severely underestimated the problems that that would cause. Mystic Remora, not a great magic card in the saga, post-saga world, unfortunately. I'm, or fortunately, not a fun, exactly a fun magic card either. Uh, all right, so I have a lethal, almost lethal attack here. Actually, I have a lethal attack here, right? If I swords... Uh, sword. If I swords, then they block and they take four twelve. Yeah, so I can go eat the shepherd. Oh, they can uh nature's claim, but I can force. So, what is this? A lightning bolt? No, none of that. Oh no, now I won't be able to force the- okay, they're off it. They're off it! We have won. Victory is ours. Battle of Wits, one nothing. Alright, round two of our Battle of Wits League. Absorbent 3 is back to battle again. Uh, so be it. Face the power of 250 cards. Okay, this hand is our first hand that doesn't work, though. This hand, this hand doesn't work. This hand, uh, no functions. I mean, technically we have a Dryad Arbor, but this doesn't cast enough things. I think this this would be this would be too much. We'll mulligan this hand. Uh, that is three gifts ungivens, and every gifts ungiven is going to break my computer. I get to mulligan a gifts ungiven away, but that still leaves us with two gifts ungiven. Would I keep this hand? I mean, it has a hex drinker, but they play lightning bolt. How many how many things do we need to up our hex drinker? Turn two, it has protection from lightning bolt. Okay, I think I think we're gonna try to go for this hex drinker plan. There may be an Urza Saga in this deck. True. We are. This hand is a little weak to lightning bolt. I will I will not lie. All right, yeah. The good news is I don't have to have Force of Will against my opponent's deck, because they're always uncounterable. I mean, I think we start... I think our plan is play turn one Hex Drinker plus level up, and turn two level up level up, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a it's like an anti-combo stompy kind of deck. It's a very much a brew. There are definitely some good things happening in it, and there are definitely some underpowered things happening in it. Maybe we should wait until we have four mana to play Hex Drinker and level it up all at once. Can't get Lightning Bolted. I mean, if we successfully level up a Hex Drinker, I think we probably beat them. Yeah, that's something I'm, cons I'm considering for sure. It's definitely something I'm considering. We hit a land drop. So I think we are just going to play our Hex Drinker and level up and hope they don't have a Lightning Bolt in their hand and then level up, level up. Because we're not going to miss any land drops by doing this. Like, we have to wait till 5 mana to get a Hex Drinker all at once, and they would have to have no red mana open, which I don't think is a valuable plan. I, I don't know if we can... Or I don't know if Magic Online will successfully let us cast two Gifts. I'm pretty sure Gifts is going to break everything. Like, Intuition was really bad. Gifts has got to be way worse. And we have to make sure we hit all the right cards the first time, or it's going to just... It will just break. Here, I think we need to get... Uh, we can probably get basics here, right? We can probably get island. 
I mean, start building my gifts pile, not me then. Yeah, I mean, the Hex Shrinker could just run away with this game. If my opponent doesn't have a Lightning Bolt and this becomes a 4-4 protection from instance, I don't think they can deal with it. We'll have to see. They put, they obviously, they clearly play Lightning Bolts, so... Nope, that's, uh, well, that doesn't actually stop us, huh? That is not good for the opponent. So, we probably want a forest, and then we can get an actual plains, maybe? That puts us pretty... Does opponent play, like, Wasteland? I don't think they play Wasteland, right? Can I just get a Savannah? Well, I don't want a Savannah. I probably want a Trop. Uh, I could just get a bunch of basics, too. I guess we don't really need to Mystic Sanctuary. I'm just gonna get basics. It seems like... Well, no, I'm gonna get Savannah. So, the next question is... Um, I'm technically... 5 turn clock, and they're on a 6 turn clock. I think I'm just gonna hold back the 4-4. Four four. I mean, I assume this is the Ren version. I, if I get Wastelanded, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's not super bad because I still have a Hex Drinker, right? I mean, someone in chat's got to start building us a Gifts of Pile because I don't know how... what uh, Elemental? What's an Elemental? Oh, Cinder Vines. Okay. Oh my god, I don't have protection from Cinder Vines! Oh no, it doesn't hit creatures. Never mind. Artifacts or enchantments. Oh. Okay. Oh, I did not hit a... <laughs> Deck is something. We hit our best matchup, so creature deck, and we're playing legacy bant control. So pretty happy to see that. Simeon Spirit guy. Uh oh. <gasps> oh no, chat. That is not good. That is not good. That is that is bad. If we hit a land drop, we can go pro everything, though. We just need a land drop, right? Or no, we need five mana. Oh no, we probably should have pumped our Hex Drinker. I didn't play around the Minx and Boo. Chalice. Okay. So we can pump our Hex Drinker twice. Cycle our Timeless Dragon, pump our Hex Drinker to five, and play a Chalice. Uh, but then our opponent can sack the hamster and kill our Hex Drinker. Oh no. I done goof, chat. If I I should have pumped my Hex Drinker last turn to play around Minx and Boo. I made a mistake. That's probably going to cost us the game. We'll have to see how our opponent chooses to play. I think it's too late. I don't think we can get the Hex Drinker in time, right? Because we, we, we just don't have enough stuffs. I can't attack here, and my opponent can just fling the hamster at it. Yeah, I don't know. It didn't really seem necessary. 
But I didn't really consider this card, so... If I had considered this card, I think it would have made sense. Yeah, but we can't Battle of Wits and win if my opponent has a Cinder Vines in play. So... Uh, I mean, theoretically, we can go, like, Gifts all zero drops and, like, maybe have a Mentor kill the, mo the Minx. Uh, maybe not, though, because they're going to have two blockers, right? Oh, true. We do have Caracas in our deck. True, true. Uh, we could go Loam, Caracas, Mox, Mox or something. Good point, good point. All right, chat's on the ball tonight. We do have a Caracas in our deck. I didn't forget about that. All right, what is opponent going to do? What is their plan? Are they just going to throw the hamster? Yeah, they're going to throw the hamster at the Hex Drinker. It's a smart play. I don't think they can beat the, ham the Hex Drinker without it. Yeah, 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 but that triggers my mentor. That's the whole point. I guess we have a Noxious Revival, which can trigger our mentor as well. Uh, oh god, they just have so many blockers. I think a Caracas Loam Noxious Revival. Oh my god, they have Bolt too. Oh, uh, I think we're... Oh, God, they have Dry and Militant, too. I think we might lose. Uh, I don't know. We need to think of what we're going to get off of our Fabled Passage. Not Fabled Passage, off of our it Gifts on... Wait, I can just Timeless Dragon, right? Wait, wait, I can just Timeless Dragon. Wait, why are we, why are we, I can just Timeless Dragon. This is solved. This is fine. We're, we, we're, we're winning. How are they going to beat Timeless Dragon? They get a hamster. They plus their hamster. Like, whatever. They can't beat this. Kill their Minx. Then we have to secure our board state, but we're, we're, we're playing magic. Throw another hamster. They can't throw a hamster until the next turn where their, their minx is going to be dead. Squeeze your daddy. Do we have a balance in our deck? I don't think we have a balance in our deck. I, I do think I lost this game because I didn't I didn't just go all in on my hex drinker. Which is unfortunate. The Minx and Boo, this card is just so strong. Very good card. All right, so Lavinia. That doesn't really help. Well, it doesn't, that's not bad. So I can put the Caracas in, in, a, in my pile, and I can put a Swords in my pile. Um, I can't do anything with the Graveyard, really. So it has to be four cards that are good in my hand. What is this? They had Simeon Spirit Guide Endurance? Shit. Uh, I think we're just dead then. They had all the, the right answers here. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we just lose. I'm, I'm just looking. I don't want to cast gifts on given unless I know we have a good thing. So we can get Swords to Plowshares. We can get Caracas. We can get... Okay, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, like, dress down is fine, but... I, we're, like, gonna lose on board, so... Alright, I think we should just go next. So, I, I, I should have played around Minx and Boo by, uh... Upping my Hex Drinker. Uh, that was a mistake. I guess I can keep that in, man. They had too many creatures. I don't have a balance in this deck because it's like there's just so many creatures in our deck. <laughs> yeah. No, like they're on like one or two minks. Like, you know, it's, you know it's, I don't need to warp my 250 card deck to play around it. Like, I have other answers. Uh, no, this doesn't cast anything. Yeah, I mean, this hand's great. I mean, I unfortunately, we're not going to be able to escape our Uro for anything less than seven mana because of Magic Online, but I do think we're probably going to keep the Uro. And, well, I kind of want to keep all the Wastelands, too, though. Maybe that's fine. Maybe we can just get rid of this fetch, and it's not a big deal. Uh, Magic Online updated and broke Escape. Yo, what's up, Raphael? Mm-mm-mm. That's a good draw. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think I want any of these cards, though. Hello? I shuffled my 250 card library and I put a force of will back on top. Hello? It's a bit outrageous. That's a little bit outrageous. Ugh. Yeah, it's a little awkward and slow. I think Astrolabe's probably a little underplayed. Is this a strip mine on my on my basic? Why are you like this? Component, why why are you like this? Cavern of Souls. Are we going to name Collector Roof here? Elemental again. Okay. Elemental go. Well, I have... I mean, they probably... So the problem is... They probably have... Um, Simeon Sphere. Okay, all right. 
I'm going to go fetch a basic island and then morph my island to green to play Uro Wasteland and then play the, uh, sorry, Uro Strip Mine and then play the Wasteland. No, I did it the wrong way. My bad. Well, hopefully they don't play a forest after this. I've tried Astrolabe and PO. It's extremely clunky. It's very, very hard to ha like be able to replay it after you've cast PO. You just don't have like snow mana typically. I guess I theoretically don't have to strip mine here. But I'm just going to. I made a mistake. Obviously, I wanted to do this in the other order. I just misclicked. Um, but I think it's definitely good to keep them off this land. So Next turn, I get to hit my land drop with Timeless Dragon no matter what. So I can Wasteland them again. And we're going to push towards Intuition for Battle of Wits. I immediately got punished. I absolutely immediately got punished. That's incredible. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to hit my... I guess I lose my Uro, even though it's bugged, so. I don't think I'm supposed to force this. Doesn't really feel like a high enough value. Now I probably need to hit my land drops anyways, so maybe it's fine. No, I shouldn't have stripped. I wanted to wasteland them. Uh, let's just cycle for a planes, and let's get a... I guess we can just get a savanna. No, I want to get a blue man. I want to get a... Just get a tundra. Alright, so next turn we can make a 5-5. Five, five, and then we have no... Or 4-4, four, four, sorry. Eternalize. And then we have no problems. No, I'm going to hold up this dress down. I might cycle it, to be honest. Especially if they, um, I don't know. I think I just might cycle it. Kind of want to just hit land drops. Yeah, I'm just going to cycle this. ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do I'm so worried about our clock. It just takes so long for actions to resolve. Didn't hit a land drop for turn. It's very unfortunate. But I guess it's fine to just... Reanimate our Timeless Dragon. We get to have hold up force. We still have intuition for battle coming. We have swords to kill something on board. So I think we're in a good spot. It's going to be a long video with how long everything takes to do. Oh, they hit the red mana. Does that mean Minx is coming? Collector oof. Alright, I guess that's fine because I have swords. I'm just gonna hold this stuff. I can swords this to unlock mana if needed. <laughs> no, no, I'm playing uh I'm gonna play PO. I need to start practicing. For the real events that are coming up at the end of the year. And PO is still just, like, ridiculously underplayed in Vintage. In, in challenges. Not in leagues. <coughs> in leagues, it's there's tons of PO. But in challenges, hella underplayed. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they attack and they have a bolt, so be it. I have a force, like, it's fine. I think opponents game one draw was like pretty high on the top end of their draws that the deck can produce. They also mulliganed a lot in this game. Oh, they do have a bolt. Interesting. Yep, 
Yep, going to go to Four Seasons and uh, Eternal Weekend. I might just uh, Wasteland their Taiga and just attack them to death. It might be a better use of my time. Oh, we already won with battle. Well, turn of weekend Europe is online. So I'm hoping to not play that at all because it's the same weekend as North America for whatever reason. I don't know why. Very unfortunate. I would love to be able to fly to each of the events around the world and play in all three of them. I don't know why I can't have that. But I guess we can't have nice things, so... Just so slow. Oh, that's a good draw, though. Oh. I'm gonna bring my laptop, I think, to North to to North American Eternal Weekend in case I bomb out, and that way Sunday morning I can just like play and see what happens. No, I don't have the necessary equipment to do a backpack stream. You need all kinds of different equipment for that. This collector roof seems to hurt Absorbent 3 a lot. <laughs> My clock is still very concerning if we need to try to win with a intuition or a gifts ungiven in round in game three. Well, I mean, like, I really wanted to fly to Japan and play an eternal weekend over there. Just too late of an announcement. Can't justify it. All right, game three. I mean, they should have just tacked Eternal Weekend onto Four Seasons, right? All right? That makes a lot of sense in my mind. Yeah, just don't make the online one the same weekend as the paper one. Let me stream it. I want to stream. I was like, oh, sweet. I'll get to play in paper and stream. Nope. Same weekend. Uh, This hand is probably bad. I can't imagine that this is a keep. I'm gonna keep that. I think I'll put away this trop. That way I can go for double snow covered land. This hand kind of feels legit. I have a battle of its hand. Oh, my opponent has seven cards, and we knew they. Oh, jeez. And we know they board in Nature's Claim and stuff, so. I mean, if they play turn one Minx and Boo, like, we just die. Oh, no. Not Lotus Minx. Okay. Lotus Tar... Tarmogoyf acceptable. I don't really want to see Collector Group here, unfortunately. Okay. Scooze your daddy. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is fine. This is not the worst thing that could have happened off of Black Lotus. Okay, this is good. This is uh, an additional snow-covered land. I mean, we're pushing forward here. We have a plan. I like it. We're going to have a nice death touch blocker. We can go get our Yori on.
that's unfortunate. I swear to God, they're going to name second Misty, aren't they? What else are they going to name? Like, Hold on. Let's just in case I drop a misstep. I'm going to play this now. And maybe they'll just not read it again and not attack with their Tarmogoyf. Okay. They named Wasteland. Okay, that makes sense. That's a good name. Ow. You think if I play snow covered planes and pass, they'll hold open and uh, like holding open a, a, a coatal block, they'll just uh, respect it and not attack again? Oh. New plan! I guess technically, if my Coatl gets lightning bolted here, it's really bad for me. That is a problem with this line, is if I get lightning bolted, it is quite bad for me. They get to kill my Coatl, this becomes a 3-5, a 3-4, and they kill my Oko. Oh. Okay. I mean, I'm glad my Battle of Wits didn't get Red Elemental blasted, so... This is now a 4-5. I guess that is annoying. So now my Coatl can't trade with this. Uh... Can I just draw swords? Um, I think it's just better to put the Yorion in my hand. I think next turn I might have to just um, flicker my snow quaddle. Why can't they attack next turn? They can just keep attacking with this 4-5. This thing is an elk now. I stood up an elk so it could block either, but I guess that could have been wrong. Oh, we're taking damage! So I can flicker it back to a Coatl if my Yorion resolves. Vigor. I guess I do have technically have Vigors in my deck. I don't think I want to jam Battle of Wits here. I guess I can't really afford to attack because if my opponent has a Pyroblast, I need to hold back the Coatl and block. I'm really in trouble here. The Scoip just got real big really quickly because of their first Pyroblast. There's such not much. Yeah, they have Pyro. Fuck. <sighs> Now they get to eat the scavenger. Oh, man. Two Pyroblasts. This is classic. I mean, it was my misplay, right? I shouldn't have made this a 3-3. I should have just gotten a... Oh, what, what was I supposed to do? I guess I just wasn't supposed to... I don't know. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I guess not play... O or just like Oko and Plus... Stand up Sapphire, I guess? But then my thing wasn't death touchy, so they just kill Oko. Oh gosh, that kills... I mean, at least we didn't play Battle of Woods into Pyroblast Outland Liberator. Right, I mean, this is a snap trade. The problem is my opponent is going to be too big. I don't have, I don't have enough creatures to block. I mean, if I draw Swords to Plowshares, I instantly win. 
<laughs> no, no, no. We lose. And, uh, super unfortunate. I mean, my opponent's hand lined up perfectly against what we had this time. Just the multiple red elemental blasts. Very, very hard for us to beat this card. Very, very broken magic card. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like, opponent just has to attack with Tarmogoyf if I play out Battle of Wits, so it just doesn't really work out. If we had one Swords to Plowshares, this game is super easy. Because we just have Swords, Snap Swords. That's unfortunate. We got ranched in this game three. I thought we were, like, really well off. But they just had too many red elemental blasts. Here we go. Round three. One and one. What do we have across the table? Everybody pray for not Bizarre back. I mean, this hand is functional. This hand is functional. This hand is completely and utterly functional. I'm in. I'm sold. Please don't bizarre me. God, please don't bizarre me. Actually, in fact, please play like artifact deck where I can vigor and oof you. Squeeze me. <laughs> Two hundred fifty sixty card enchantress doesn't even work. Why would I play two hundred fifty card enchantress? Sixty card enchantress like whole breacher ruined it. It's unfortunate, but that's the case. Uh, yo, what's up, Arkaron? Welcome everybody. We're playing Battle of Woods. No, our hand was so good against artifact decks. Why did it have to be bizarre? Why couldn't you play PO? We're just dead. We're just so dead. We have no chance, chat. It's just, it's hopeless. There's no, there's no chance. Unless we draw Wasteland off the top. I mean, I have, I can beat that. Those are, those are artifacts. What the fuck? Is this real life? I have okay. Hear me out, chat. Hear me out. I have one tabernacle in my 243 remaining cards. So if, for instance, I were to untap and draw, I could kill all their creatures but one. I didn't that didn't happen. But, you know, theoretically it could happen. <laughs> We're not really losing to artifacts here. We're losing to Bazaar of Baghdad. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta narrow it down. Which card killed us? I don't know. The card that drew three and made all of these cost zero? I don't, I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Why doesn't Hogak play Telerian Academy? True. True. Wow, they pitched a Besaidu. That must mean they have another land. So they're going to get two Blood Gas back. So technically, we can still draw Black Lotus next turn as well. It was one in 243. So what do they hold in hand? I guess they probably still have a land. I take five. If I draw a Black Lotus, we might win this game. <laughs> oh, 
Fuck all. This come. I don't want to. Why am I? I mean, I'm swearing a little too much. I don't want to swear that much. What really? Real, really? Man. The, the strip mine? Really? Cradle vine, huh? Good boy. Four, eight, twelve. Oh, even if I hit a tabby, I lose. Uh, is there anything I can hit then? Probably not. Yeah, I mean, we we came into this knowing I had a 0% chance against Bizarre. And this, but it, it still hurts. You know, it still, still hurts. Okay, alright. The good news is we have a small sideboard package of, um, nine cards. So that's something, you know? Uh, Vigor, Chalice, uh, Negation, Bluster, I gotta lie, I got too many cards to take out. Can I not, what's it, why is it let me, this doesn't let me take out more cards? I don't take out cards. I have to have 250? Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll rather have the Vigors. Right, I mean, this is probably close. Submit. All right, now we have seven tabernacles in our deck, uh, which which increases our odds. I would say. I think that would be a slight odd increase. Yeah, that was sad. Like, I think our hand was legitimately quite reasonable against any deck where Vigor was actually good. Like PO or Shops uh, or Breach or something. If it had a Black Lotus, this hand would be good. I don't really think I'm allowed to keep this hand. It just doesn't do it. Okay, this technically can kill the bazaar. And it has a battle. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I accept. Is this, is this okay? Keep. Five? They mold to five? They mold to five? Hold on. Hold on. Maybe they'll continue mulliganing. Could happen. Okay. Five card hand from our opponent. We get on a nice uh, basic island. Ponder. I think this is the keep. I get a land, and I get an endurance, and then I fetch away the sanctuary. And it's also a green fetch land, so I can get a forest for Besaju slash Hole Breacher slash Endurance. Okay, it's a bizarre hand. It's double root walla blood gas. All right, I just know hollow ones. 
Please no hollow ones. If I could just kill off this bazaar. I think Moxfield said it was 100k. But I don't know how much it's grading power at, so... So they got a blood gas. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. I I need no hollow ones off this. If they just pass. <gasps> oh boy. Okay. All right. This game is continuing here. Uh, I am just going to hit him with the Besaju life. I think we play forward from here. I think we have we have we have opportunities. This does let them pump their root wallas, but I think that's acceptable. We get an endurance in play. The the the, the ground is secure. This is playable. This is a playable match. They didn't have triple hollow one. <gasps> Ooh, no find. Why they fail to find? They can't fail to find. Is this some kind of special version of the deck? Why'd they fail to find? Are they all in their hand? It's not basic. Basaju is, is a land type. You can get a taiga. No, I don't think so. If it's the Cradle Vine deck. I do have a problem with this wasteland, unfortunately, but maybe I can just hold open this fetch until I draw fifth land. And like, if they don't have a taiga, I maybe they have a taiga in there. Maybe they have all their taigas in their hand. That must be it, right? They played wasteland to play around tab. No. No, I don't need to play Endurance here. I can just play a, a Hull Breacher. I don't want to fetch a, a... I can't fetch a Basic Forest, so I don't want to get Wastelanded. Uh, so I think it makes more sense to just eat a, a Root Walla. Their Cradle Vine has Tigers, doesn't it? No? No Tigers? Alright, if I hit a non-fetch land, I can play battle here, and they just use their besiege you. Also fine? I think I'll fetch a planes, and then I'll up this ruby and try to win with... Uh, should I have done that? I don't know. It feels like it makes more sense to... Just play an Oko game. Maybe that was silly. I think I'll attack with Full Breacher. If they want to send these, I think it's fine. Maybe they have an end of turn once upon a time. Kind of feels like that. No? Okay. Any, like, a good fetch can get us to Endurance. If not, we can just, you know, put a Yorion in our hand. It's really hard for them to beat Oko from this situation. Like, they can't draw a second Bazaar because of waste a uh, Hull Reacher. Cradle. Okay. So this deck just doesn't pump Rootwalla. I really like being able to pump Blazing Rootwalla. Oko is like extremely well balanced in Vintage in my mind. I think Oko is like the perfect power level for Vintage.
Uh, well, that's probably going to get wastelanded, but I feel like we should probably just play it anyways. My game seems to be running faster this game. Maybe I just was playing slow. I feel like I got a double attack in this game block. This is a one. Yeah, let's just double attack. If they want to attack my Hoko. Like, I don't think I care. Just going to pump up my token next turn. If they wasteland me, I mean, like, they're probably going to wasteland me. But what am I going to do? I'm not going to hold this. I'll make the land drop. This, this is, hasn't been an uncompetitive league. We've done reasonable magic things. And this is kind of why I built the deck this way. Like, this is a just a normal Bant cards hand. Yeah, this is going to go... Oh, oh it's going to go at me? Sure, whatever. No Wasteland either? Interesting. What? So I don't... I think it makes sense to play Battle of Wits here. It's like a very reasonable chance my opponent has Vigor. So I'm just going to play the, the Yorion and... Um, yeah. I think there's like a pretty reasonable chance my opponent has Vigor. I guess if my opponent vigors this token in response, then maybe I'll play Battle of Blitz. Okay. I guess they should probably Wasteland in response here, because then I won't have four lands. No, they didn't do it, though. I think that was actually a pretty good window for them. If they just waste this in response, right, I don't get to untap my thing. I still get an Endurance, but... All right, game three on the draw versus Hogak. What do we have? We have an Endurance and a Pitch Cast. Oh, did I miscount my lands? I'm gonna, uh, if you control four... Oh, four or more lands, not four other lands. Sorry, I haven't played with a Fable Passage in a long time. Well, we, we have already won we like we accomplished our goals tonight of win with Battle of Wits and win with win a match, so I don't feel the need to like go all in on Battle of Wits anymore. <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm keeping this hand. Well, this hand has a wasteland and an endurance. Fine, I'll keep it. If I get hollow one, I die, but that's fine. It has a wasteland and an endurance. What what more can I really ask for in my 250 card deck? I have a graveyard answer and a bizarre answer. This is the most uncastable Teferi of all time. But. Vodokin Hex. Vidalian. Whatever. The Hex Catcher's good. Shut your mouth, Raphael. The Hex Catcher's totally fine. Kitten is also very powerful. I just think it's one mana too much. Hexcatcher, after my list got published for Hexcatcher, after, sorry, after my video went out for Hexcatcher, let's rephrase that, immediately top aided. Deck's good. Deck crushes Urza Saga. Literally just feeds on Urza Saga. There, you can easily build some of the sickest decks that just prey on Urza Saga, and it feels real good. I'm not gonna lie. Highly recommend. No, it's playable in Vintage. Oh, I should go check my mailbox. I got this uh, nice paper magic card that came in. What deck could I play that in? No one knows. I didn't really focus. How am I ahead on clock? I don't know. Paper magic. What? That's not a bizarre Baghdad. 
That's a Yavamaya. That's a Hex Drinker. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I beat a Hex Drinker chat? I guess I can bounce it as long as it doesn't get to eight. It doesn't exactly fix our mana because we, we our current issue is we don't make blue or white. The problem with Zerta, and there's a very large problem with Zerta, is every Zerta deck wants to also be a Saga deck, and it can't be because of the rules restriction. Very unfortunate. Zerta ruined by Urza Saga. All right, so can, I think we can beat Hex Drinker Mox Go. Okay, Gonti. Okay. True. Opponent, pass the turn, please. I love you, but come on. We got Battle of Wits to play. Gifts on giving the cast. What do we need? We want like a a mox, a on color blue white mox. We want a battle of wit. No, we can't cast battle of wits. No, what is that? No, no, no. This is bad. This puts this to what four? It's still gonna take two turns to level up. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We just need to draw colorful mana. It's fine. It's fine. This doesn't have pro everything yet. Come on, fetch land. Oh, shit. Pro. In well, I can deal with it after I bounce it. All right. So what I'll do is I will fetch a basic island so I don't get wastelanded and play a mana vault. No, 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 this thing has pro instance. It already has pro instance. This is an instant chat. Come on, chat. We have to Teferi bounce it. I'm going to cast a fairy when I draw my fetch land next turn. I can't afford to get wastelanded. I can't afford to get wastelanded. I have to draw it this turn. This is my last opportunity. Actually, I can wasteland them if they have no land, I guess. If they don't draw, if I don't draw that, I can still wasteland them. And that will buy me another turn, maybe. Fetch, fetch, fetch. I guess that technically buys me some amount of time. I did just get rid of my second green source to cast my creatures, but... It's still fu All I need is the white source. They can't even pump this in response. It's a sorcery. All right, we've, we've got time. We've bought ourselves at least a draw step. And if I draw the white source that we can play immediately, we can bounce this Hex Drinker and, and we'll be okay. They could also draw no mana and then we have two draw steps. Like if we drew a, a Spara headquarters by accident. They drew the land. That's unfortunate. Okay, we have one draw step again. We have one draw step again. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. 
I deserve it. No! Fable Passage! No! Not Fable Passage! No! Not Fable Passage! No, I said, I said white source we can use on this turn. No. No, 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 no. <sighs> this is so sad. We're going to lose to stupid Hex Shrinker in our, like, 10 Swords to Plowshares deck. Ugh. Well, I don't think the playing around the Wasteland mattered at all. What are you talking about? We never drew an additional blue or white source in time. All right. So, yes, technically, if I draw one of my four dress downs, I can march it. So frustrating. If I had drawn this astrolabe earlier as well. I was hoping or something else. Sad, Justin. I th This game was so winnable. All we needed was a correct on-color fetch. Ah, <sighs> so sad. Okay, here we go. Round four. Let's try again. It's been close. We haven't had any, any bad rounds. Typically, this kind of hand is quite good against clam decks. I'm going to keep it. Obviously, Chalice on the draw is not great. But... They've molded a five. I wonder if they're on Bazaar, then. Saga! Ha-ha! I have an answer to Saga at all times in my back pocket. All only Saga answers. Okay, I mean these these cards are are typically quite good against my opponent's deck. Well, I probably should have played the Chalice first. Um, but I don't have any mocks in. Oh, Chalice resolve. Okay. Every deck can answer Saga. Saga is nonsense. Second Saga though. Ooh, didn't wasn't second saga. Okay, so probably PO. Probably uh uh blue white PO. Pachuca bog. Alright, I'm just gonna play this fable passage so I don't forget about it and at some point accidentally fetch it and be sad. So Hole Breacher and Archon of Amiria and Chalice of the Void are all great cards against PO. So if we can successfully mm, live long enough to get these cards onto the stack and into play. I think we actually are reasonably okay with the situation. Uh, the problem is opponent can just tinker us at any point before then, and we die. Yeah, they brainstormed as well, which is, you know, quite good. Breaks legacy. Yeah, I mean, Brainstorm. 
Not a fair and balanced card. Repeal off the top on the Citadel? All right, okay, you got me. All right. For anyone who says repeal is a bad card, show them this VOD. Okay, I am going to proceed to board in zero magic cards. Ready, set, go. Yeah, PO is just an outstanding deck, and no one plays it, and I don't know why. Man, Brainstorm is so broken, though. Oof. Brutal. Imagine getting to play four of that card. Imagine what that would do to your format. Wouldn't be a, uh, wouldn't be good. Would be, would not be a pretty sight. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Uh, I had the right cards. I just didn't have, I mean, this is the right card. Oh, wow. Okay. We've got a, a Force and a Lavinia and a Saga Answer. Hello? All right, I'm going to go uh, fetch one of them Spara's headquarters. One of them there. Uh, What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. Lure. This is a Lavinia draw. This is a Lavinia play for sure. Blue, white, Lavinia. Blue Ancestral. Yep. Your Ancestral Resolves. Okay. Alright, we have a Resolve Lavinia against uh, Pio. And then we're going to follow up with a Resolve Collector Oof. So... I guess this is going to be a Teferi. No, not a Teferi. What is this going to be? Can't cast uh, Teferi or Tinker, I guess, because Lavinia is in play, Justin. This makes this a Time Vault Resolves. Okay. Uh, and then we turn off all your stuff. Ooh, an Archon if we hit some mana. Not bad. Wait, we're, we're actually playing Bant Archon. <laughs> we're, we're playing what started this whole this whole night of, of discord nonsense okay we've got a Lavinia and a collector roof in play against Urza Saga Pio this is a good spot to be in I'm not going to jinx it Urza Saga can be dealt with. We've got a March of the Otherworldly Light. We do want to hit a land drop so that we don't get Flusterstorm, though. <gasps> blue, blue, blue. Tinker? No. Interesting. Demonic with Flusterstorm back up. Yeah, probably worth the force. If they fluster back up, it means we get to resolve March. Okay. So we didn't hit the land drop. So let's start with Reclaimer and see if they, like, I don't know, mental misstep. No. All right. I'm going to march your saga. Okay. Saga down. We are, we are, we are battling. Now they can play Teferi. Here's Teferi. Bouncing... Lavinia? 
Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. So do they have a force on the way back down? That's the question. Pretty likely, right? We've drawn very bad magic cards, unfortunately. Oh, no, it didn't die on the way... What the... What is happening? Opponent just not drawing the right magic cards. Okay. What's in their hand? P.O.'s? That's a lot of mana. Our set. Repeal still pretty good here. Swords, that's a good draw. That's a good draw. Yikes. They probably can just swords collect a roof and then like PO. Yep. Unfortunately, my opponent had all the mana here. Oh, they're gonna tinker into Volky. Wow. Holy crap, dude. PO is the best deck in the format. How can anyone argue this? Brutal. Uh, yeah. I mean, we got ranched. Wasn't close. Okay, chat. Fifth and final round of our Vintage League with 250 cards. Battle of Wits. Celebrating our 250th Vintage League on YouTube. Uh, it's not, it hasn't gone badly. I'm not going to lie. I got, I was able to battle of wits kill someone and I was able to win a match. That is more than I had hoped for. I would like to, you know, round out the pity chest here, but I understand that we can't beat Bizarre of Baghdad or Pio. So our opponent kind of has to be on shops. <laughs> uh, let's mulligan this hand. This, eh, what the f Basic Island, Basic Plains, Noble Hierarch. I don't think so. I don't think so. Put back an Enlightened Tutor. I Enlightened Tutor. There's just, like, nothing good to Enlighten Tutor for. I'm gonna mulligan this. Okay, this hand's just so much better. Holy moly. Wow, that hand is legitimately good. We got shops? Uh, we got shops? Okay. If you play four mana restricted card on turn one, it could be problematic though. Uh, all right, that's annoying. That's definitely annoying. Right, well, at the very least, I have fetch a basic forest, play a sapphire. Our hand's not the best for shops. Uh, but it could work. Unless I play a Saga here. Saga would be bad. Not a Saga. Golos is still bad, though. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That is a hell of a hand. Uh, it's gonna be a strip miner, saga, or a Caracas. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this game. Caracas. Yeah. Unless we draw a vigor. Nope. All right. All right, so we'll bring in Tarmogoyf and Energy Flux, and then we will take out Flusterstorm and Mental Mista. Submit. No one should ever be allowed to play with four copies of Chalice and Vintage, so. I 
Balance of Void is a disgusting magic card. Lodestone is not even a remotely like reasonable magic card in terms of power level. That card is so is easily one of the strongest restricted options. Yeah, I guess this is a keep. Boomer Shops players are wild to me. They're like, yeah, I missed when my deck was a 65% win rate against the format and played all the most obnoxious cards in the history of Magic and my opponent never played a game with me. Like, what? That's what you want to do when you're playing Magic? Your opponent just never plays with you? That's nuts. Classic uh, Brainstorm, not for max value. Oh, boy. Okay, let's get this Bajooka Bog out of here. Uh, hopefully... Oh, wait, I can put the Bajooka Bog... No, I can't. I could put the Bajooka Bog right into play, right? If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield. Okay. Dope. Let's do it. I have just brainstormed Coiling Oracle to put a Bajooka Bog onto the battlefield. I am on the next level. Whoa, value. Absolute value was achieved. How does one achieve... That kind of value. Mystic Forge. Okay. So what's the line here, chat? Are we just going to go for the W? <laughs> I want to, like, intuition for vigor, but I can't. I want an intuition for... For flux or for battle, I just don't think if I intuition for battle, which I'm gonna like live long enough. For for I I don't think force of will does anything. We don't have a vigor to pitch is the problem. Yeah, I guess we could have intuition for four waste three late wastelands and wastelanded saga, but. <laughs> uh, I guess we're just going to see how this Mystic Forge turn goes. I don't really know. I mean, Saga matters if they get a bunch of mana off of it. Oh, I should have fetched in response. Justin! Oh, I'm going to get needled. Sorry, chap. I ruined it for everyone. I mean, now I can get Flux, actually. So maybe I baited them. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe this was the Supreme Bait. Wait, 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 wait. This, this might have been nuts. They didn't get mana, so now I can just get Flux and they lose, yeah? Uh, intuition targeting you. I did warn my opponent that we'll take a second. All right. Flux, flux, and then freeze. And then when they get rid of their needle, boom, our, our, our thing is back. I 
I guess we lose this game if my opponent has a wasteland for our Bajuka Bog, though. I didn't really consider that. All right, so if they don't have Wasteland, slash Strip Mine. Oh, no, Mana Crypt? Oh, no! No, we're, we're dead! Well, that's unfortunate. Now my energy flux costs five. Whoops. I guess I should have just put my uh Yorion in my hand. I don't even know like how much of that was off the top. I wasn't really looking. Flowstone Golem is the absolutely most broken of the sphere effects because it's also a four turn clock. This is all my fault though. Like I could have fetched the Verdant Catacombs. I just I just didn't fetch the Verdant Catacombs. It's it's very much my my problem. Uh I, I am the one who made the mistake. Man, Mystic... Remember someone, someone was also saying they should unrestrict Mystic Forge? God, no. Mystic Forge is so completely broken, too. It's crazy. All right, so the good news is I have a chump blocker for one turn and a dress down that I can cast. And if I hit a untapped mana source, I can theoretically still flux my opponent. I mean, if they're going to spend three mana of their, like, two mana, they, they don't even have a lot of mana in play, not me. If they're going to spend three of their non-workshop uh, mana to make this unblockable, I think I'm okay with that. Probably should have still blocked anyways, but... Dress Down does stop the Lodestone effect, but they can, like, do Wasteland things. God, are they going to Golos? Do I have to... I probably have to dress down the Golos effect, though. Because if they get Talarian Academy, we have no outs. Yeah, if they get Talarian Academy, we're just so screwed that uh, we don't have a choice here. We have to just turn off this ETB. All right, we need to hit a land drop that we can uh, use here. Ooh, okay. I don't know if this energy flux wins the game, though. I'm not really convinced it does, but it might. Could. They have what? They can pay for one thing? They can pay for two things, because they can bring back a Wasteland or a Saga this turn. They can't make a Construct this turn, though. So that's kind of nice. Maybe they Wasteland my Catacombs? Oh no, they untapped the Mana Crypt. 
Never mind. Hey, I'm not really convinced that this is enough, but an attempt is being made. Attempts are being made. Okay. So they could choose to keep Golos and Lodestone and hit me for five. I guess they're... Well, the Saga doesn't help them pay for anything. Oh, they can just... No, this construct's going to be super small, right? All right, I don't want to figure this out. This is not my problem. This is their problem. You just tell me if I lose. I'm glad I'm not the one who has to figure this out. I want to play a game three, so I hope we win. This was a rough game, no forces. I do kind of still think it would be worse for us if, like, if I had fetched with my Verdant Catacombs and my opponent had gotten a Soul Ring. Maybe not. The whole opponent plays, like, Mana Crypt off the top with Mystic Forge and then plays Sphere Wasteland was quite brutal. So my opponent only has the ability to save two artifacts and they get uh, a new thing off of Saga. So which two artifacts do they save? I assume they save Lodestone Golos? Is that an unreasonable assumption? Lodestone Golos, and then they get a soul ring off of their Saga so they can pay for Lodestone Golos the next turn. Well, it doesn't pay for Lowstone Golos the next turn. That only pays for one. But this hits us for eight and puts us to five. And then we have Hull Breacher. No, I don't need to fetch now. My opponent tapped their Wasteland. Uh, and I'm not sure, but this one life could definitely matter. Uh, would it be worth tutoring for the next flux? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm going to wait until this chalice goes, and then we'll see what happens. Wait, they, ch they chose to keep, they didn't choose to keep lodestone? Oh no, they paid for lodestone already. So they're going to keep this go load. Oh, they're going to keep the construct. Uh, Okay. So, Saga goes, they get a Soul Ring, which will let them pay for one thing, and then if they have another untapped land, they can pay for two things. The problem is, if we go for double Flux... Oh no, that draw is so good. And second Golos? Uh, I don't even think Second Flux gets us there anymore. Wow. This just gets them to Larian. So, let's see. I go from 13 down to 4.
Flux doesn't do it anymore because they can just pay for a Lodestone very easily. I can't go for Battle of Wits because I don't have another turn. If I crack and go to three, I have... If I double crack and go to two, I have three, six, seven mana. I can play Teferi, Bounce Lodestone, Hole Breacher, Block Construct, Die to Golos. So I probably need to draw something off of Teferi. No, no moat. It's unfortunate that double flux doesn't really get us there. I don't even think double flux would have got us there without this Golos. Because my opponent could have just had any land plus soul ring and double paid for lodestone. Do we have any Hercules? No, this isn't really a Hercules deck. Oh, I have a Dryad Arbor. So, if I have a Dryad Arbor, and I pay four... Oh, the problem is, I don't have enough mana to, hold, to play Teferi and Hold Breacher, right? What about what do, oh what about uh enlightened tutor for dress down? What about enlightened tutor for dress down? So if we enlightened tutor for dress down and pay three mana to dress down kill construct, and then we pay four mana to bounce lodestone. That doesn't do it. The second Golos is the the death of me. I can definitely win this game without a second Golos in play. Oh, true, 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 true. Three mana, three mana, three mana. So three mana and then three mana, but it still doesn't get me there. So if I draw an Arbor and I pay four mana to Hole Breacher, uh, and then I need to still draw something. To fairy plus whole breacher buys me another turn. I don't have, do I have enough mana for that. I have seven mana. Oh, I guess I tech. No, that doesn't buy me another turn. That's only two blockers. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm supposed to get an arbor. Because if I get if I play Arbor and then I untap and then I go to Fairy and draw into Swords or Caracas, I don't think so. The only Enlightened Tutor option is Dress Down, and I don't think that's as good as just to Ferrying. Yeah, but I won't have to be able to play any creatures to block. Like, I'm just not going to have the mana for that. Oh, that's a that's another fair point. Is that Dryad Arbor will just get Wastelanded. That is a very valuable, very, very fair and, and fair point. Fair point. Uh, okay, let's just get a Spar's Headquarters. That, or, I guess there's no reason to get a Spar's Headquarters. Let's just get a Forest. Or an island? Let's get a forest, then I can get a forest or an island. Okay. Okay, I need a top deck here. I need a top deck here. I need a swords off of my Teferi bounce, I think. Woo! That's a double! That's a double, yeah? Okay. Hello? Um... So... One, two, three, four... So I should actually just go to Fairy Bounce the Construct. And then play... Oh no, then I won't have enough to play Liberator and activate. So, so 
So I have to go to Fairy for four mana, bounce Lodestone, play Liberator. And they still have to pay for Flux stuff. And I'll have another blocker next turn, and this is going to kill one more attacker. Uh, and I technically still have Enlightened Tutor if I want, if I have like a play. For like flux or a dress down or something. Like if my if I if I I'm gonna block the construct and shoot the golos. Um and, and this'll let me I can I could go enlighten tutor for dress down if I need to. It's been a pretty good league. I've definitely played more competitive decks than this. I've that I've done way worse. So my opponent is going to tap this stuff and save uh, both all six, all three things. And then they're going to replay Lodestone. And it's going to cost them two. Oh, is this still not going to be enough, though? Or did I, maybe I made a sequence? No, I had to do it this way because I had seven mana and this costs four total. Yeah, I had to do it this way. Have we cast Ancestral? I don't think we've seen an Ancestral. We have not, I, we have seen Time Walk, but we have not seen an Ancestral. I don't think it's like, I think it's pretty straightforward, right? Opponent just plays Lodestone and attacks all. And I'm definitely going to shoot the Golos because technically I, I can tutor for something that kills Construct. All right. The problem is Lodestone is still going to tax everything. And so if we enlighten tutor for two mana and dress down for three mana, uh, that is five mana. And then actually we can still play Hold Breacher after that with fetch. They have a basic in their deck. So they don't even have to tap Ancient Tomb. Trinisphere? Why'd they play Trinisphere? Do they have a Phyrexian Metamorph? They have a Crucible, so they have Crucible Saga. So... I am not... I am taxed. So... Hmm... I don't think there's anything we can enlighten for. I think we're going to end up chumping with Hole Breacher. Well, the second Flux is going to kill me, so my opponent just pays for their Construct and kills me with it. All they need to do is pay for Construct and pay for Soul Ring, which they have more than enough mana to do. 
Well, we can't we can't like block and get a, a battle of wits or anything like that. Battle of wits costs eight on its own, and this we ha we can like play a battle of wits. We'll just die immediately to this construct. I think we just have to naturally draw. All right, all right well, well, what does this do? What does this do? What does this do? What does this do? Maybe we should have gone for Enlightened Tutor Dress Down. No, no, no. This just kills Construct, and then we Enlightened Tutor for... For Battle of Wits. This is, this is, we gotta go for Battle of Wits. I think. Oh, I guess we could technically kill, uh, kill Trinisphere, play a whole Breacher, tutor Battle of Wits, but then I have to chump. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill this construct token. I think we win this game with Battle of Wits. And I have a Teferi that can pump yeah, 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 yeah. I think think that's my line here. I can't play Enlightened Tutor and Hole Breacher in this turn cycle. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four. I have one, two, three, four, seven, eight, which is exactly enough to enlighten Tutor Battle of Wits next upkeep. Wait, basics are broken. <laughs> and that will be too long for their saga, yeah? This is game two. Saga out of the graveyard. And then they play a lodestone, which I have to respond to with whole breacher. I guess I don't have to respond to it. Whatever. I don't care. And then I have three, six, seven, eight. So I can enlighten tutor. Oh no, the lodestone's gonna make it so I can't. Oh no, that's so bad. No, no, no nothing, nothing, nothing gets me there. There's no combinations that will work. I had to not play my whole breacher at all. I mean, I could just enlighten for uh, energy flux, right? I can just enlighten for energy flux. Yeah, I didn't need to play the whole breacher. I should have just fetched and gotten Battle of Wits, and then I could have chumped. Yeah, you're right. I think I'm just gonna go get a second flux. Cause I think I'm currently beating saga tokens. I only have one more Flux in my deck because I intuition for Flux. That's funny. And then eventually I can just bounce something.
I can like bounce a saga or, or a saga token or whatever. He's at eight. Can I, they're at eight. Can I attack with Hold Breacher? No, they'll just trade a Lodestone at this point, right? I would rather them have to pay for the Lodestone. No, I, I, I messed up. I messed up. I, I was supposed to, instead of playing Hold Breacher, I was supposed to fetch and then tutor for Battle of Wits, untap and play Battle of Wits, because I had the Rex Sage to block the Lodestone Golem to win. So I I I made the the major mistake. I, I had the win and I, and I threw it. I was thinking I had to have both blockers, but I just didn't need to. All right, I can just F6, right? I don't need to worry about this. My opponent has to pay four for every like this is two fluxes is a lot of fluxes. Even if you have a Talarian Academy. I still have Yorion, right? I do still have Yorion. I have enough to get Yorion and play Yorion, actually, after Lodestone goes away. If Lodestone goes away, I can get Yorion and play Yorion, and then rebounce the Rec Reclamation Sage. Uh, I will trade- like, if they pay for the Lodestone, I will trade with the Hole Breacher. I have to. Which, they are going to pay for the Lodestone. No, 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 I'm going to trade with the Lodestone. They're not going to not attack, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure this Lodestone's coming in, and then I'm blocking it. They already have their Manifold Key in the yard, so I don't have to worry about unblockable. So can my opponent pay for... No, they didn't pay for Cr Trinisphere. Uh, it looks like they're paying for Crucible... And Lodestone. And maybe Soul Ring. No, Soul Ring's dead too. So they paid for Crucible Lodestone. This has been a great match. I wish I played better, but that's most of my matches of Magic. So they do have the ability to make Construct tokens, which is really annoying. But I can kill a Saga or a Crucible... Oh, they have a city of traders? That's really bad for me. Maybe they won't attack then. They chose not to attack. Uh, okay. Intuition. All right, so we have another avenue to uh, a battle of wits. Um, I think we just bounce the lodestone. And then we can see what we draw. Wait, we just bounce Lodestone and then Intuition for Battle of Wits? That probably just works. One, two, three, four, five. They make a construct. So unless they have second manifold key. I'm glad I tapped like this. If I had tapped out of my blue mana, that would have been so bad for me. Battle. I'm not going to have enough time to win game three. Who are we kidding? No shot. I Come on, Magic Online. Why are you like this? I need all the time I can get here. I should have queued up two clicks. Oh no, it's all over. It's all over. I can't even F6 or anything. <sighs> no, it just takes a long time to register these. It takes about a minute.
All right, the third one, it shouldn't take too long because it shouldn't have to rearrange anything. It should just go to select, right? I hope, please just put, put, please show me three battle of wits. I'm gonna have to play really fast next game. Just F6 and everything. Okay, I have three battle of wits done. Pick a battle of wits for me. Battle of wits, F6. I'm gonna waste a bunch of their time with energy flux triggers, so it's fine. Ooh, 217 cards. I, sh I didn't even look at that. What if I had gotten Battle of Wits and I didn't have enough cards left? Okay. Uh, yeah, so if my opponent has a second um, Manifold key, I lose, I guess. But that would be pretty odd. What if they get Ginger Brute? I swear to God. You know what? If they get Ginger Brute, they deserve to win. I deserve to lose to Ginger Brute if they get Ginger Brute. No Shadow Spear in Vintage. No, I don't even think Shadow Sphere is that bad. It's probably underplayed. People just don't play it. It's not typically the the problem. Like it doesn't typically solve a lot of problems. Soul Guide Lantern. That's not the one. That's not the one. Catch him back up on clock, too. That's a battle of wits win. That's a battle of wits win. Okay, we. I'm happy we got that game. I'm happy we got that game. That was nice. That was a sweet one. All right, we we, we top decked. We we top decked Outland Liberator into Rexage, both one ofs. <laughs> uh, too funny. All right, I gotta play quick. I'm gonna play quick. I gotta play on the fast pace here. Oh, welcome Doomwake. We are in the final round of this Vintage League with Battle of Wits. We are in the final game. Uh, I don't know. It has so many basics. I just don't think it's going to get there. I'm going to mulligan it. Mystical Dispute. Okay, I, I, I keep, I keep, I keep. Dispute down. Go, 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 go. Five, five minutes on each player's clock. Mistress Workshop, that's a little bit better than my cards. Sphere, yeah, that's also a little bit better than my cards. I have drawn zero Black Lotus. I have drawn zero Ancestral. Zero Vigor, well, that's not true. Not zero Vigor, but... Okay. Go. I have plenty of basics, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough. My opponent kept a seven card hand here. Uh, not good. Oh, no. Yeah, we also have an Uro in our deck. Uh, I think I'm just going to get all basics. Uh, ooh, a force. Uh, I don't have like a dual land off this, like a, a good land off this Reclaimer, so I'm not even sure it's worth playing. Uh, I think I'm just going to hold open force.
I'm I'm worried about fetching. Ugh, they hit Black Lotus. It's so bad for me. Come on, just like play tap out and play a uh, Golos. Play Golos here, please. What? I guess I force it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to force this or not. <laughs> like, if I draw a Vigor, I, I need to force this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to force this or not. I can't believe my shop's opponent just played in the Eye of Chaos. Why did my shop's opponent just play in the Eye of Chaos? They can't even use their Saga. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so yeah, but I I was thinking I might want to keep preordain. I can't cast that one because it costs four. Unless they cast in the eye of chaos, then you know, then I then I then I technically could maybe cast it. Why did my opponent have an in the eye of chaos? I don't think we're making it there unless we hit exactly Black Lotus. What? This is just off of island? What? How? I don't even win this race. I could have not, I could have just held open Mystical Dispute, but I didn't respect the Tinker off of Island. I probably shouldn't attack at all. What am I doing? I need to block. Uh, I'm on a timer. My opponent's on a timer. What is this? Did you hit a worm coil? How much does this cost? Six? That's unfortunate. I shouldn't have attacked at all with this card. I think I had more of a chance if I hadn't attacked. Yeah, but I, I had no idea they were on blue shops. Nothing. I mean, there was an island in game two, but I play, you know, I played Field of Ruin and stuff. I I had no idea that they were on blue shops until my opponent cast in the Eye of Chaos. I guess I should have held open Dispute for Tinker. 
I probably win this game if I just hold open dispute for Tinker, which is ridiculous, but... This is zero? All right, whatever. <laughs> what else am I going to do? Yeah, but like, I didn't see a chromatic lantern. Like, no, no chromatic lantern. Nothing in game one or two suggested they were on blue shops. <sighs> Man, these cards are so good. What is this? Karn? That's just cast lattice and wins, right? Man, we got ranched in this battle. Oh, we just got a worm coil engine? Sure. Yeah. 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 I mean, now we can't even Black Lotus out a battle of wits. What does that do? Probably does nothing, right? I don't have any white card. Well, I can put the Yorion in my hand. Where's my Yorion? It's on my third screen. Yeah, I think this game would have been playable if I had just held open dispute at, for Tinker. I didn't think I I didn't think I was supposed to. Obviously, I also like should not have attacked. That was really bad. I was like trying to think of a way to win and like clocking them out was possibly a way to win. So if they go for Lattice, they went for a second Worm Coil. I don't even have enough blockers anymore to like do something silly. Damn. That is a rough way to go. That was a rough way to go. We did not end up getting the pity chest. GG's opponent. GG's. Um, that was a very fun league, though. Honestly, the deck worked better than I had anticipated. We had very competitive matches, honestly. We, we had a couple three-game sets, and it, it worked out, actually. I think this was a pretty reasonable build. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. I would not recommend it, especially because in Intuition and Gifts Ungiven both break Magic Online, so you can't actually play those tutors, which makes these base blue tutor builds uh, not great. But we got we got uh, two Battle of Wits wins and one match win, which is definitely rolling hotter than I would expect. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out tonight and for the past uh, four years. This is Vintage League number 250 going on my YouTube channel. If you're interested in vintage content at all, uh, the YouTube channel is a great place to be. I put gameplay videos out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern. This weekend, I will be streaming. I will be streaming the uh, challenge on Saturday. I'm going to probably play PO as practice. And then on Sunday, I will be streaming the RCQ. Um, so two big uh, challenge and RCQ coming up uh, this weekend. Uh, I will catch you in the next video.